Hello guys, welcome to Super Saiyan Shredding. This series is going to consist of... <laughs> this series is going to consist of 13 weeks of shredding. So that is a lot of time to shred down. That being said, it's going to be for two competitions. The first competition is 13 weeks away, which is on May 27th. And I believe the next one is on June 28th. Um, the first competition is a natural competition. The second competition is going to consist of people that are taking steroids. I'm going to be going there as a natural athlete once again. And this is provincial, so this is going to be a higher class, higher level. So I'm going to have to come in there more shredded than I was before. Um, with the last competition, when it came to people I was versing that were taking enhancements, I wasn't shredded enough and that's why I placed third. The first place guy was just really shredded, I guess that's what they're looking for. And that's why I'm starting this series for you guys to understand how the whole process breaks down. And so you guys can follow me throughout this journey. It's going to consist of motivation, it's going to consist of uh, workout plans, what I'm doing, what I'm eating, vlogs, uh, progress, flexing, all that stuff. Um, consists of my routine and a lot of that stuff so that's pretty much introduction as to what it is and what it's going to correlate i just want you guys to follow me on this journey of super sane shredding and that being said i'm just going to show you guys my physique as you can see my current physique is not the best i haven't trained in about four days i've been doing lots of homework recently and starting today which is the 22nd um, I'm gonna be doing chest and triceps I will not be showing that but I'll be showing um, in the next episode I believe back and biceps uh, that being said with the episodes that is gonna consist roughly one episode a week but that's not gonna be the only video that I'll be showing per week I'll probably be showing a flexing video as well per week and maybe a third video depending on how busy I am that week when it comes to school it comes to work um, but for sure, every single week, there's going to be two videos. One's going to be flexing, with, which shows the progress, posing, and you can see in this, my posing is a little different. I'm trying new things. It looks really sloppy right now, but I am trying new things to get something more fresh for the new year um, as to when it comes to posing. Uh, that being said, I am looking bigger. I am weighing in about, I'd say, 176, 175 right now. Um, and I'm not looking too heavy or I'd say in basic terms, I'm not looking too, too fat. Um, but of course there is some fat involved. Uh, that being said, uh, I'm going to be shredding down. Um, it's going to consist of cardios in the morning, possibly after the workout as well. If it's after the workout, I want to be as long unless I did not do cardio in the morning. Uh, with the food, it's gonna be very simple. I should know by now after doing four competitions how my food works, how my body works, how it works when it comes to cardio and all that dietary kind of stuff. And you guys will kind of follow me out throughout this process as to how it works and everything towards that. Um, with my physique, uh, I tried to bring out my upper chest more, uh, shoulders, I tried to even them out. My right shoulder tended to be stronger than my left, so as you can see in this video, it looks a little bit fuller, um, at least in my eyes. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but for me, I can see those little things, um, especially when you're a natural athlete, um, little things like that will, uh, you, you could really see, you could really see what's different in your body. Now, this is my physique for last competition. This was probably my best physique I've brought to date. Um, of course, I'm looking really shredded and that's what I'm trying to get to again. But uh, I'm trying to come in with a little bit of a better physique, better posing, more of a natural look towards everything when it comes to men's physique. Um, come in there kind of more confident than I already was. And I was already really confident after I did my first competition and my second. Then when it came to the third and fourth, uh, my placing was obviously better than the first and second. Uh, with my first competition, obviously, I wish I got my WMBF Pro card, and that's what I'm going to achieve here in 2017. Um, that being said, I have a Pro card to achieve, and I have a CBBF um, placing, hopefully, um, 
uh, or qualifying, CBBF qualifying. And from CBBF, that's where you can get your IFBB Pro card. Um, and that's the ultimate goal, IFBB Pro card. And from there on, after that, it's, you know, it's hard to say, obviously, to go past that. But to get that IFBB Pro card as a natural athlete is very uncommon to see. Um, a lot of athletes, uh, Jeff Side or Ryan Terry, they're taking some type of performance enhancers. It may not be as crazy as the um, bodybuilding Olympic uh, style way uh, with Arnold and all that, but or with Phil Heath, all that, but they are taking an enhancement, um, whether it's with cutting down, whether it's with building muscle, there's lots of different ones out there. Uh, that being said, I'm trying to be as natural as possible. I'm only going to be natural. I'll be showing you guys what I'm eating, what I'm taking, what supplements I'm taking. Yes, supplements are natural, guys. You don't have to take the supplements because a lot of the supplements you take, you get from food. Uh, that being said, this is my goal for Zeke um, for shredding. I'm, I'm planning to get to that shredded again. This is going to be my fifth transformation in a year about a year and a half i'd say or about full year um fifth transformation guys and a lot of guys only go through one transformation in their life and they stay to that for me i think the fact that i'm able to go through five transformations i understand my body that well that i'm able to do that and it shows that no matter who you are no matter what you where you came from no matter what time of day it is no matter how busy you are you're gonna be able to cut down, you're able to do that transformation you want, and a lot of transformations for people are life-changing. For me, this is my fifth transformation, so yes, it's gonna be life-changing, but at the same time, it's gonna show that anyone can do it, no matter how old you are, or how young you are. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be my goal for Zeke, for this competition, with more muscle and better implications. This series is really to show that there are different levels to becoming Super Saiyan. Obviously, there's Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, and there's Super Saiyan God, and then there's also when you link together with someone and you become, what is that called again? Uh, there's Gogeta and uh, I forgot the other guy's name. Anyways, it, it's going to show different aspects why super, becoming Super Saiyan is really a good a metaphor for a transformation really um, it's bettering yourself every step of the way and I believe I became Super Saiyan 1 after our first two competitions then Super Saiyan 2 after the fourth competition and now guys it's time for Super Saiyan 3 we're gonna transform Super Saiyan 3 we become aesthetic and all you aesthetic athletes out there are gonna be watching us throughout us well myself whoever else wants to go through this journey with me um, I want you all aesthetic athletes to do your best at becoming shredded, becoming aesthetic, becoming your best physique out there, becoming Super Saiyan. So I hope you guys enjoy this series and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please leave a like below, comment, subscribe, and get Aesthetic Bra.